let's talk about food safety and quality culture. Uh, I'd like to just draw your attention, if your attention isn't already focused, on this gorgeous little boy in the photo here. And, uh, and isn't he too cute? Uh, and do you know what? He's attitude and and his 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 approach there is he is just delighting in the moment isn't he he's delighting in his breakfast and his juice and he's delighting in the fact that his photo is getting taken uh, and you know what I, I love this photo because for me this touches on what our culture can be our attitudes and behaviors towards our products too do we delight in our products and you know what we should we should delight in our products, our food, our drink products, whether you're making packaging for food or whatever it is. Um, and, the and, and think about the delight that you are bringing to your consumer. Uh, and if we've got that kind of attitude, we're, we've already won. We've already won um, uh, in terms of this subject of food safety and quality culture, if we can delight in our products. Uh, and so let's take a closer look at what it involves. So first of all, it is a legal requirement for any food business to consider their business's uh, attitude towards food safety. Okay, it is a legal requirement since the beginning of 2021. Uh, and of course, it is based also on a business having integrity and caring about their products so let's take a look it is also our values okay it's our attitudes and it it is also our behaviors uh, in the business towards food safety this is what food safety culture is all about the word culture can be substituted for any of those words on that on, on that slide there it's our values how do we feel about it how do we value our products and that the products must be safe and of course of the right quality uh, and and what is our attitude towards it do we sort of roll our eyes to all the checks that we have to have in place are we negative uh, how do we feel about it or are we really positive and proactive and caring um, and, and really how do we behave and uh, and i love i love the thought that food safety culture uh, and behaviors is what we do when no one is watching. Uh, for me, that just sums it up as well. What do we do when no one is watching? Yeah, that behavior demonstrates our attitude towards food safety culture. So now that we've kind of seen what it is, let's also take a look at this. And this comes from BRC's Culture of Excellence module. Uh, at which which is an assessment of a business's food safety culture. Uh, and they look at four things. So the first thing is people. How does a business empower and reward and recognize their people? Uh, and how, how, how do they work? What, what's the teamwork like? Uh, how are they trained? Are they effectively trained? Are they competent? And how do we communicate in the business? It's also looking at the process, but again, related mainly to people. You can't take people out of a process. So how do people control their processes? Uh, is there effective coordination between their systems and their procedures and their processes and coordination between teams? Is there consistency in how we follow our procedures and manufacture our product? Uh, do we control our systems? Are our systems effective? Uh, are our premises suitable to producing safe food? It also looks at the business's purpose. So your mission statement, your vision. What is your vision for your business? How do you want to grow your business? How do you want to improve your business? How do you make sure that your customers delight in your products? Uh, and, and that, of course, ties in closely with your values. Uh, and do you have a strategy? Do you have a strategy to grow your business? And your strategy will then dictate what your targets and metrics are to grow your business, to make safe products that your customers can delight in. Uh, and then finally, proactivity is another measure. So how proactive 
is the business. Uh, in terms of staff being aware of your bigger plan and your vision, uh, do you have foresight in terms of seeing the on the horizon what risks might be posed to your product? Uh, is there fraud in the supply chain? Are you looking forward at all the risks so that you can mitigate those before they impact on your business and your product safety? Do you innovate? Do your staff continuously learn? Uh, and are you investing again towards making a safe for a product that your customers can delight in? Uh, and so yes, this is proactivity. And those are the four measures um, that can be used and you can use them for yourself as well when you put together your food safety and quality culture plan. You can also use these measures if you want to. But at the end of the day, your food safety and quality culture plan does need to boil down to just four things, incorporating all these wonderful things we've already been talking about. And if you include these four things, you will achieve continuous improvement. Okay. Uh, and so what is it? It is first of all doing an assessment of what you do well and what you could do better. So this is your strengths and your weaknesses as a business, as a team. And it's not just senior management that we're talking about here. We're talking about all staff and then coming up with a plan based on the strengths and weaknesses. And that plan is obviously to then do better. And then implementing the plan. So that's step three. It's all well and good if you come up with a plan, but then don't do it. Uh, so we've got to do the plan. We've got to put in place those points um, and do those actions. And then finally review the effectiveness. If we do this, we will achieve continuous improvement. Okay. And ultimately, it is all about people. Uh, so we're going to work together to achieving uh, food safety culture. And of course, you can visit our website for further training and information.